Welcome to another week of This Week in Cosplay. For the week of October 4th, 2012. to apologize for a lack of research in last week's episode. ShyCon did not happen last weekend. Apparently what had happened was another convention called C4 had decided to merge with ShyCon. Um, and this convention's gonna, this mass convention of ShyCon and C4 is going to happen November 2nd through November 4th. So we apologize again for our lack of research there. So a couple conventions that did happen this last weekend was Anime Weekend Atlanta and SnafuCon. Unfortunately, you people at SnafuCon didn't upload a lot of pictures. We couldn't find anything of you guys. Um, so if you do have images from SnafuCon, please put a link in the comments and we'll make sure to mention them the next time. Uh, but we did get some awesome pictures out of Anime Atlanta. So let's go take a look at these now. October 6th and October 7th, we only have two conventions coming up. Uh, we suspect the reason for the low number of conventions is because people are ramping up for the New York Comic Con, which is happening the weekend after this. That's the October 11th weekend. Um, but the ones that are happening this weekend are Scotia uh, Con in Mobile, Alabama, and Animania in Brisbane, Australia. Uh, Scotia Con. Their logo is a half girl, half shrimp, top half girl, bottom half shrimp. Awesome. Uh, it's going to be a smaller con. I think that's why they picked the name Skoshi. Skoshi does mean small in Japanese. So I hope people that are going there have lots of pictures, more than Snafu Con. Um, remember to post your pictures in the comments when you do take them. Now it's time for What the f Should I Wear Halloween Edition. Since we've got just a little under a month to Halloween, we're going to su suggest some slightly interesting and complicated costumes for Halloween. And then as Halloween gets closer, we'll suggest some more simple and fast costumes. Since Halloween is a holiday that everybody dresses up for, we're going to branch out and make suggestions outside of the anime Japan realm. We're going to suggest other geek-friendly costumes that if you wear, people will recognize you in. Um, so to start off the bat, uh, the new, our, one of our most requested and most recently seen costumes is a Doctor Who outfit of some sort. Now, since Doctor Who's been on for, what, 17 seasons now, um, you have a lot of doc different versions of the Doctor to work with. So you, you can pick a general outfit. Um, our favorite one is Doctor number 9. Uh, that's the David Tennant Doctor. Um, he... You can pick out, it's a very simple outfit, generally uh, a tuxedo of some sort, uh, a trench coat, and the sonic screwdriver. Sonic screwdriver is really easy to find. You can buy it at thinkgeek.com. They'll have them in stock, and you can definitely get that to your, into your hands before Halloween. Um, another one we're interested in suggesting is a BMO costume. <laughs> um, while it does seem easy, I think it can get a little complicated with painting and constructing it. It might take like a week or a couple days. <laughs> um, so basically you would just need kind of a big cardboard box that would cover most of you or at least three-fourths of you. Paint it blue, paint the little gadgets on it, and then maybe wear a similar colored like a bodysuit so like your arms don't arms and legs don't stand out too much and you are set to go for BMO, which I think would be an awesome costume. And that's from Adventure Time, for those of you that don't, that don't know. Look it up, B-M-O. Um, now, I love video games, so I'm going to make a couple suggestions out of there. 
Uh, if you check our website, we have a section of League of Legends players. Uh, a lot of people have been getting in this game recently, so um, you're probably going to find a lot of people going out as this. Uh, we found a really good group when we went to Anime Expo. Make sure to check out those pictures. Uh, we'll have the link in the comments below. Uh, but we really had fun with those costumes. Uh, depending on which class or who you're going to play, uh, you're going to you know, need to pick out the outfit. But they're all fairly straightforward. Uh, outfits to make or buy even I suspect there's probably somewhere to buy them um, but one of my all-time favorite games and we've seen a lot of these recently was the TF2 Team Fortress 2 uh, cosplayers um, the simplest one to make out of the whole group is probably going to be the medic or um, the scout class those two are very fairly, fairly straightforward the doctor is just going to be a uh, white lab coat with Harry Potter glasses. Um, the the med the healing unit is going to be a little bit harder to make, but a bone saw would be super simple to cut a cut an outline out of cardboard and paint that, and you're good to go. And you have a doctor. Make sure to get the, make sure to get the rubber gloves too. Uh, but any other suggestions do you have? Um, this is anime related, but I think that Princess Mononoke is kind of in between for simple and complicated. Because uh, you could get a blue dress and do a scrappy white tank top with a necklace, some face paint, and a little headband around your head, and you're good to go. And I think that would be an interesting one. I have never seen a Princess Mononoke for Halloween, and I would love to see it. So. Ooh, hey ladies. It's time for Lady Boners. So my first Lady Boner pick is Kratos from God of War. And this is taken by uh, Greylock, and I think he has a really good body for it. And I can't tell if it's just painted on muscles or if he really has those, but I think he did a really good job because he looks pretty much exactly like him, and it's kind of scary. The man's a beast. <laughs> um, and my second pick is uh, Chris Redfield from Resident Evil, and that is taken by Pop Culture Geek. And I just picked that one because I thought he was cute. Hello, gentlemen. Have your ladies leave the room because it's time for Boner Boners. So my two picks this week for the Boners Boners is Macross F. And she is pretty cute. She's got that little seductive look peeking out from over her shoulder. Very hot. Uh, oh, and uh, this was taken by a Shiny's photo. Uh, again, the links will be in the comments. Or in the description and the other photo by Chinese comments is a Vocaloid um, the Vocaloid named Luca uh, she also has that really seductive look when she stares into the camera kind of steals your soul and breath away yes that cosplay this week's guess that cosplay might be a little hard Kevin thought it was just a stereotypical Asian girl in typical Asian dress floating in the water. I'm allowed to say that because I'm Asian. <laughs> She's not. <laughs> so if you do happen to know the right answer for the guess this cosplay, uh, let us know, leave a comment, or email us, and you will get the gold star certificate of awesomeness from us. This week's cosplay of the week is Zone Double Zero. Kurubara. Um, this photo was taken by Chiori. Chori. No. Their deviant art name. And the oh. cosplayer is Mioaldi. And those are both on deviant art. So, and they will both be featured. But I thought this picture was really badass, and I feel like all my pictures are crap now. Yeah, this is pretty epic. Who, uh, Chiori, who? Good job. Very good picture. And very good cosplay. Mio. 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 Yeah. Mio Aldi. Mio Aldi. Yeah. Anyway, congratulations. Mio You've gotten picked for the cosplay of the week. Woo! And uh, starting on Sunday, or the Sunday after that, soon we will be starting a voting poll for our cosplay of the day, and you can pick the cosplay of the week that will be featured in our videos. So we will let you know when that officially starts, but it'll be soon and it'll be awesome. Mm -hmm. So thanks for joining us this week. 
hopefully it was a little more better than last week. We're still learning how to interact with each other in front of the cameras, so it might be a little awkward for a while, but bye. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe to us on YouTube and like us on Facebook. Details in the description below. See how awkward we are? No. She tries to cut it off too soon. No. That's what she said. Anyway, thanks everybody for watching.